What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And uh, as you can see, this is kind of scuffed. I'm using this little mic instead of a lapel because I'm kind of lazy. But also because today we're going to be doing another mukbang video. But this time we're going to be doing it with a different food. Something that I've been looking forward to a lot. And if you missed the 7-Eleven mukbang video that I did with my sister, you can check it out. I don't have any free hands, but there's going to be a link in the description. And you can see a little preview off to the side here. Right now, I'm in the Lotte department store and I'm gonna go meet my sister and James at uh, the train station because there is a little bit there. I still haven't really decided if I'm gonna be eating at the actual place or back at their hotel. Personally I prefer their hotel because my lower backs are kind of killing me today. I don't really know why. I think I might have hurt myself a little bit which is kind of unusual but you know sometimes it happens but realistically speaking we're gonna get a lot of food. I'm gonna try to get one of every burger and do like a little tier list. If I can't do that then I'll just get some of the the main burgers. The things that you would see with like a a set menu that way you can see the things that they offer and kind of how they rank in terms of flavor i'm gonna head up to the or i guess head down to the basement to get to the train station i'll see you guys in a bit i actually just kind of realized that i could just put it on my strap oh also i got a new shirt it's pretty cool i got it a few days ago there's a chindoke it's gonna be my best friend from now on I see them. For the record, I've waited for like an hour and a half with my back pain. So here they are, walking in. What's up? No. So now we're going to talk about what we're going to be doing because it's good to have a plan before you do anything like this. And we haven't really done anything like this before, so we're going to take some time to think about it. But we'll be back in a bit. Let me just put this little guy in here. Boom. Proper mic placement, very important with lapels. The plan we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the self-service kiosk. We're gonna order a few burgers because I don't wanna say all the names in Korean, I'm gonna be completely <laughs> honest. But also, I figure it'd be a lot more convenient to order all those things off that. Yeah. And that way, uh, we can see clearly what we're getting, we can clarify what we want, and then all we have to do is just pick it up and take it away. Here we go. <laughs> How was it like having me wait for an hour and a half? Oh, well, it was wonderful. Nice, you nice. Know, we went shopping, bought like seven socks. Seven socks? For our friends, you know, we got that. And then we're here. So the cool thing about this is you can also just do an English menu and then it does all that. So we're going to play with the card. We're just going to go through the list and if anything catches your eye. Oh, the spice. There's so many different ones. Okay, well this one is the actual one, so we're gonna get one of those. Are you a Miracle Burger? I saw that and I wasn't really sure what it was. I think it's like beef and chicken. It's just a really big piece of chicken. Okay, well shrimp burger for sure. You want a hot crispy chicken or the T-Rex? I kind of want the T-Rex. T-Rex. Okay. So we have four burgers. These are, oh, actually, we should do this. So you get two burgers, two sides, and two drinks for 15. Wait, hang on. Okay, so it's the Pugulgi Burger and the Shrimp Burger. Okay, so I can delete the Shrimp Burger. But now we have... So it's only a dollar more for like, all those sides. I guess that's it? I feel like we should get one more. There's a mozzarella in the burger bacon one. Or there's a truffle mushroom one. No, 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 no. Okay, I've had the Gordon Ramsay Burger. I don't want any truffle because I don't think it's gonna match. Okay. Let's go with that one. The thing. And then that's it. They have you pay for bags. So if you don't have a bag on your own, or if you uh, need a bag, they can sell it to you. But it's the way that they reduce waste in the country. So we're gonna wait for our number. Uh, we can go ahead and sit over there. So something that we forgot to get before is that uh, we haven't gotten any Dunkin' coffee. So James is gonna go and get some for us really quick while we keep waiting for the order. My sister said the order has been going by pretty fast, but that's also for normal people who order like a one burger, fries, and a drink. So this one, we're gonna take it and eat like pigs. But James is gonna get some coffee, we're gonna get the food, and I can see that they're getting it ready. So it's actually gonna be ready pretty soon. Okay, so normally you're supposed to like show them your number and show the proof that it's actually you. But I guess they didn't really care this time, so we're just gonna get our drinks here because that's a thing. Also, depending on where you go, sometimes they give you like a laminate lid and they put the drinks in for you. But since this one is a 24 hour one, they kind of have more of a self service focus. Oh, look who decided to join! Ooh, another thing that actually is really cool about Korea is they have little carriers for uh, drinks. And you might think, oh yeah, well, that's kind of whatever. But no, 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 no. They're like actual little carriers for your drinks. 
Yeah, like look at this. I do one. I do two. Put the straws in. Bam. You know what? Let's take a couple napkins too. Personally, I'm a very clean eater, but some people over here make a wild mess every time they eat something. That's it. And we're out of here. Okay. We'll see you back at the hotel. So here's a fun little development. Key cards don't work. So we're just locked out. My sister's going back down to the lobby to get new keys. We'll be able to go inside very soon. Stand by. We'll be ready very soon. Do not worry. Meanwhile, I'm just going to suffer uh, in the hallway because, man, my back is killing me. Is this centered? I don't think it's centered. Do you want me to fix it? Uh, we use the power of movie technology. Wow. If you want to change it. No, no, no. Let's go. Okay, first of all, this is... This is my video, <laughs> not yours. Okay. Just Welcome back, everybody, to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a Loteria Mukbang. So, as you saw earlier, we got a few things off the menu. We have a few drinks and a few sides. But we also have some Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I've been wanting to try it for a while. So, That's the hubs. if we can get that first. Oh. Because I want to yeah. I wanna try it really quick. I have an iced vanilla latte. Looking at. James for confirmation. He gave me okay. <laughs> yes, it's an iced vanilla latte. And I also got, or he got me, a mocha. And he apologized because he said it's a very sweet for a mocha. You can see if you can all the the foam and the chocolate syrup on top. I am expecting this to be actually. Quite good. And we are. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Surprisingly not sweet. I was about to say the same. America's is sweeter, which is funny to me. I prefer this. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like sweet coffee. I feel like Dunkin's coffee in the States is too sweet. Wait, babe, you want to try this? Mm, Isn't that really crazy? Which <laughs> <laughs> James is our resident Dunkin' Donuts expert here. Mm, that's so good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's way less sweet than America. Mm. I can't drink the one in America because it's so sweet. That's too sweet. Wow, wow. this is kind of like, um... So good. Wait. It's like the, the chocolate milk at the end of the... the Wait, actually. Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> but like a less sweet version. It does, it does. But, we can't keep drinking it because we have... It. ...our main course over here. So we're gonna save this to the side. My personal favorite, I've been waiting for almost a month <laughs> while we were here to do this. Though I gotta be completely honest, uh, there was one time for dinner I actually just went by myself and got This it. is my first time, so... She doesn't even want it. <laughs> so... She didn't even want it! YouTube title She's being is wrong. so dramatic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take everything out and show you guys. So earlier we showed that this was the carrier for the drink. I think this is great because in the States we have that little styrofoam, or not even styrofoam, it's like a cardboard yeah, you recycled can, like, paper. Yeah, you can hold it with one hand without thought of it falling out of the tray but this is pretty cool oh yeah because you know in those movies when the intern has to get the coffees and then they trip and all of them drop it could still happen with this one but at least but it'll be a lot easier to carry less likely we got uh one of the sets but they're like the bundles yeah. so in this bag where the sides we have a small thing of fries and some mozzarella sticks and as you can see, this is legitimately a child's size in the States, but this is what people consider normal everywhere else in the world. So, there's that. And then, here are those little mozzarella Dang, sticks. They look so cute. They're like little... <laughs> so two, tiny. Two friends chilling in a little... Oh, it's like me and James. Okay, that is... No, we don't need that. Oh, I just knocked down the water. Okay, we don't need that. Anyway, so those are the sides. Here, we have... <laughs> Oh shoot! The T Rex huge. burger, which is. <gasps> <Jesus>. <laughs> this is literally just a giant piece of fried chicken for the sandwich. What is this one? This one's actually in a really nice box. What is this? Oh, this is the Hanu burger. Wait, when I got it last time, they didn't do this. What the heck? Well, I guess we have the real premium experience this time. So, this is the Hanu burger. This is the one that you see on all the ads in Korea because this is. Hanu is like Korean Wagyu, basically. So, this is like premium meat. We have the Ria Miracle Burger. Oh, this is oh, this is a uh, vegan. Oh, it's not real meat. I was wondering why it was the Miracle Burger. I thought it was just chicken and beef, but I guess that's the American showing. 
because it said it's, I think it's rice and uh, imitation meat, or like like the Impossible Whopper. Oh, that's interesting. Gotcha. Oh, I'm actually really glad we got this thing. That's kind of lucky. We also have the mozzarella in the burger. That's burger. Gonna be, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be fine. It's just a normal burger, and then of course the shrimp burger. So we have one of every protein, which is really interesting. Lucky. I did not Lucky. expect that to happen, but it did. I think we should start with the honey burger. Okay. That's the staple go-to. Even if you don't know anything about Korea, this is the one they direct you to first. I say we'll do one bite, give it a rating, okay. one to ten, okay. and then we'll have a little tier list of our burgers here. So I'll go first because this is my video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah. We're gonna have a good time. Salivating. Here we go. Well, oh, actually, James, can you take a picture of this? Like me getting a bite. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> okay, okay. It was Ready? a tease. I licked the bun. <laughs> Set. Go. So the rule I have, whenever I eat with my sister, I don't show her any reaction until afterwards, because I want her to not be biased with what I'm thinking. You want to try a bite? What do you, what do you taste it? Explain. That beef quality though, I can taste it. <laughs> he, had, so good. he had to take a step back. <laughs> it was really good. All right, think about our rating. On the count of three, we'll say what we rated. One, two, three. Nine. Eight. Oh, okay. Oh. So she rates it a nine, I rated an eight. The only reason why it's an 8 for me is because it is really good. It's really good. But that's just kind of it, you know. I feel like I said 9 because this represents Korea. So I feel like the <laughs> beef, the wow. patty, it reminds me of like tteokgaebi. I feel like that is just something that people like to eat in Korea. So I feel like that's why I'm like, oh, this reminds me of Korea. It's not like an American burger kind of thing. It's yeah, fair enough, fair enough. We're gonna put it off to the side. We're gonna finish all the food, don't worry about that. So I chose this one. What do you want to try next? Um, let's just go down the line. Sure. Shrimp. I'm actually really curious. I don't think I've actually had a seafood or a shrimp burger before. I feel like only in Korea have I had a shrimp burger. It's common in Southeast Asia, but I I don't remember ever having it myself. I'm gonna try Oh, good luck. Keep a poker face. She's pretty bad at having a straight face, but... I'll just, I just won't look at her. I'll look at James dancing in the corner instead. <laughs> there we go. Shrimp burger. It actually reminds me a lot of the filet of fish I was actually thinking that. It tastes very familiar. Yeah. James, would you like a bite? Oh, I think it's interesting. Conversation. It's interesting because it's not flaky like the filet yeah. fish but it still has that fishy taste. Not like an overpowering taste, but like you know it's shrimp. It just tastes very familiar. Oh wait, James, how would you rate the Hanu burger? Eight. Eight? Okay. Okay. So we're gonna rate the shrimp okay, burger like on the count of three. One, two, three, Five. six. My man! <laughs> My man! Five. Why? Wow, that's actually a lot lower than I thought you would say. Five because it's not like Anything special is just a shrimp burger. Yeah, I think this is similar to the line of thought that I had with the six because it's very simple but kind of too simple for me. I mean, I think the the, the crispiness I like it here better than the states. Like we're talking about the filet fish, right? Mm -hmm. I think it tastes better here. Like the crispiness, I like that. I think it's a nice alternative if you don't want beef. It is definitely lighter. Yeah, we basically but... ate almost the whole burger yeah. with three people. <laughs> It is a smaller burger, actually, though. I think it's the smallest one at all. I just think it's a little too plain for me. Yeah, but... that's why I said five, too. All right. all right, moving on. The next one we got is the mozzarella in the burger, or the mozzarella in the burger. <laughs> <laughs> that's really bad. Don't sue me. Oh, 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 okay. So we got a little bit of like a mozzarella patty along with bacon and a beef patty, which is all Whoa, sliding that's around. Crazy. Show them the mozzarella oozing out of the... Okay, I wouldn't consider it oozing because it's been sitting for that's a little true, bit, but it's, but like... it's like... When it was fresh, it, it kind of... It was probably oozing. It started to do something. Okay, here we go. I think... 
it's pretty good, but I think we're a little unlucky because I think it's a lot better fresh. Because mm. then you have a more soft mozzarella flavor. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Five. Five. Interesting. Why'd you say five? For me, it's got a lot going on. Mm. Like the flavors got a lot I going on. I can see that, yeah. For me, I like a burger that's more like classic. Or if it's like a signature burger, I just want like one one kind of style. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But I think the mozzarella threw me off. Mm. Like, it's good, but it's got a lot of flavors going on for me. I see that. I think in that line of thought, that's where I think it would be a lot better when it's fresh. Mm. Because then it's crispier, softer cheese, kind of blends better, whereas right now it's a little cooler because we're waiting, and it's a little too distinct. Yeah, and I was kind of expecting more sauce. It just didn't seem like... Does it even have sauce? No. Oh, oh, it looks like mayo. A mayo. Okay. But I was expecting like an explosion with sauce. For <laughs> an explosion with. <laughs> we can't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> hey now. Time out, time out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm actually really excited to try this miracle burger. Can you go first? Okay, so fun fact. Personally, I really like the Impossible Whopper. It tastes pretty much the same as a Whopper. True. It feels lighter than the Whopper, mm -hmm. and because of those two things, and it's the same price, it's not extra. Mm -hmm. So there's really no reason not to. I just, I just really like it. So I'm really excited to see what they do with this one. Oh my gosh, okay, actually. <laughs> you have yeah. to reassemble that burger. It kinda, hmm. Fell apart. Yeah. Look at that, Ooh. it slid around. Well, actually, Ooh, that, looks that looks really good. good. Let's... Then a plate instead. Yeah. Good thing we have these plates, but yeah, this looks really sad. Let me make it a bit more presentable here. This is not better. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that there's like the, the patty on the bottom, and then I don't know what that is on the top. Maybe it's the cheese? Mozzarella? I don't know. We'll find out soon. Oh, maybe. There we go. Potato? Potato. Potato. It looks like it. The patty tastes really good. Mm -hmm. The potato, similar story with the mozzarella. If it was fresh, it'd be a lot better. This is crispier. It's kind of like a croquet. Really crispy outside, That's really soft yeah. outside. Mm -hmm. The one thing I really don't like though, is the mayo. Mm. Because it's a vegan burger, it's not real mayo. Oh. So it has a sweeter taste and you can tell it's not real. <laughs> potato in it? Yeah. And James had a double take. <laughs> he was like, "Everyone ready with the rating? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, seven. Five. Really, really? Mine again. The biggest thing for me is the mayo. It's just too sweet, and I really don't like fat-free mayo and vegan mayo, which is this. what it is. But if they took, like, if I were to get this next time, I would just ask for no mayo, and then I think it'd be great. Right. Because again, the patty is really good. It is really good. I really liked it. I think when you think of vegan burgers, the potato patty, I was like, wow, that's kind of unique actually. People just stop at the veggie patty and that's it, you know? Mm -hmm. So adding that potato flavor, I think just made it even better. Mayo didn't bother me at all. It was just like that potato was like, dang, that's like unique. I've never seen that before. So I think that is why I gave it a second. Yeah, I mean, yeah, again, the mayo is the main reason why I, I can't do it. But. Moving on to our last burger, which I'm also really excited about. The T-Rex. Look how massive the it is. The T-Rex. The size of my face. <laughs> okay, maybe Literally. not, but like... It's... Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Let me just whip out this chungus. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks like a crab leg. <laughs> That's crazy! It's a really so big piece of chicken. I guess they start from the chicken side and then... Well, the fun thing is, they actually sell fried chicken here. Oh. Yeah. Which like we did not get, because today's episode is about burgers. Alright, well. Alright, you take that chicken side. Here's the last burger of the night. Okay, I will say, first of all, I love how they used dark meat mm. instead of white meat. Mm -hmm. Makes it so much more flavorful, juicy. more juicy. It's not dry at all. Mm -hmm. and that can be kind of the trap with chicken burgers. Sometimes they're too dry. But this yeah. one. That's really good. Okay. If it were fresh, it'd be a lot better. 
But even now, it's pretty good. Are you ready to rate it? Yep. Three, two, one. Nine. Six. Nine? Nine. Nine. Best? That's the same as this! <laughs> yeah, I think these two are my favorite right now. You yeah. said six. six. Why six? It's good, but the chicken itself, I expected a little more. I don't know. The meat looks like different from what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. It's good. The flavor is there. It's kind of spicy, mm -hmm. kind of like crunchy, but also maybe because we didn't eat it fresh, fresh too. I think America does do chicken burgers really well. So this one isn't like boom compared to the other burgers. Maybe I just didn't have really good chicken burgers. I feel like this is really good. America what are you talking about? Has, we we, went we to had together. it together. The, oh the yeah, one. that one. That one's pretty good. Yeah. But I'm thinking about like fast food burgers. But I feel like when I think of like the chicken, the, 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 the okay. chickens. Big chickens aren't actually chicken, although in Australia they are. Fun fact. It's just it just tastes better here. I... And I like the texture here better. Okay, the texture. I think I would agree with the texture. Yeah. Because the way they fry it is very different. Mm -hmm. The only thing again is like there's something a little, there's a little bit of a missing piece for me. Mm -hmm. Like it's okay. it's good, but if there was a little bit of something else, like either it'd be a different sauce or because it looks like, like a ranch. Yeah. yeah. Something. If they added something else, I think it would have been really great. But it is good. It's good. Yeah. So you wanna try mozzarella stick? We gotta try the mozzarella stick. Oh, the funny thing is, I saw a picture of this, like a meme, of uh, a little, a little girl eating this, and she was trying to like stretch this cheese, mm -hmm. but it stretched so far. I'll put the picture here somewhere. But like, she was like all the way back, and her mom was holding the cheese stick, like across the table, and the cheese would still not break because it was so cheesy. So that was their advertisement. No, it was just a regular picture of a mom taking it like, oh, my daughter's having the cheese stick, and it just keeps stretching. Oh, oh my gosh, and it just keeps stretching. Okay, well, anyway. All right, it's not going to do that, but let's see. <laughs> <laughs> the most disappointing cheese stretch ever. I do like the flavor, though. Though, again, because it's cold, it really is just a cheese stick that you would get out of the fridge or something. But I like the, the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of like a fry flavor. Yeah. But with cheese. Yeah. Speaking of fry. Yeah. These are officially cold, but like they are kind of dead. But yeah. Open them. Not bad for a dead fry. I think I had them when they were fresh. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Does it remind you of like a fast food chain fry? Or like you think it's like? I guess kind of like McDonald's, but less. Salty. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Well. Here's the list of here's the list of how we rate our burger experience. I don't think any of mine had a nine or higher. I think these were the ones that had my nines. The Hanu burger is really good. Mm -hmm. I really did enjoy the T Rex. the The vegan one, if they only didn't use the uh, the fake mayo, it would have been a killer one. But, well, anyway, we're gonna eat this now, off camera. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see some other stuff. You can always check out my YouTube channel. All the videos are there. I do stream highlights, I do vlogs, and apparently now I do mukbangs. And if you want to see a different mukbang, you can go over to my sister's channel where we did a 7-Eleven mukbang. Check it out over on her channel. The links are in the descri description. Wow, I kind of messed that up. But that's all for us. Hope you have a great one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.